Preparation for use. How to use mobile assistant correctly. Open the packaging box, which contains the main unit. User manual. Magnetic attraction plate. Charging line. Some iPhone users can directly attach their devices to the back of their phones. If the magnetic properties of the phone case are insufficient after wearing it, you can stick the magnetic strip on the phone case and then attach the device. Android phone users, please paste the magnetic strip onto the phone or phone case and then attach the device. How to turn on or off the mobile assistant? For first time use, please press and hold the button for more than 3 seconds. The blue indicator light on the device indicates that it has been turned on and entered the ready to connect state. The device does not need to be turned off. If it does not connect successfully within one minute after turning on, it will enter sleep mode and the blue indicator light will turn off. To wake up the device again, press the standalone button. How to force shut down? You can use the card pin to press and hold the reset button for 10 seconds until the red indicator light goes out. And the device completes the force shutdown. Press and hold the button for 3 seconds to restart and use. How to charge a mobile assistant? Take out the built-in charging cable, magnetically attracted to the corresponding magnetic charging port, and see the red indicator light flashing to start charging. Connections settings up. APP download method. The first method is to scan the QR code on the user manual and click to download and install according to the corresponding system on the phone. The second method is to search for WearFit Pro in the mobile app store and click to download and install it. How to log into the app? After entering the APP, click to agree to the service agreement and privacy agreement. If you do not have an account, you can click to register an account below. After registration is completed, enter your email and password to log in. How to connect Bluetooth? Press the mobile assistant button. The blue light will flash. Then click on add in the upper right corner. Find the device for AI-102, click on Connect, and wait for the connection to complete. Device disconnected. Click on the top right corner to enter device. Select the device you want to delete, and click on Delete Device to disconnect the device connection. How to open permissions. Open the WearFit Pro app. Go to My Personal Center, Scroll down to find permission settings, select the corresponding phone brand, and follow the steps to go to the settings page to open it. Function usage. How to use one-click translation. App interface usage. Long press the mobile assistant button to start one-click translation recording and broadcasting. After enabling mutual translation, you can choose to switch between two languages for translation. Enable only displaying translations. Only the translated content is displayed in the input box. In the background and when the screen is turned off, you can record content for translation and broadcasting by long pressing the mobile assistant button. Where are you now? Are APP floating window function. Click to enter one-click translation. Click to enable floating window function. Fly down to find WearFit Pro. Click to enter and enable to display on the upper layer of other applications. After opening the floating window, translation content can be viewed in the floating window. The button can be clicked to display the original text and translation. Click on the icon to hide the floating ball. 
in the suspended ball state. One-click translation can also be used normally. Click on the floating ball to reopen the floating window. One-click translation of input content. After opening the floating window, open the chat interface. Click on the input box. Long press the AI Assistant button to start one-click translation recording and broadcasting, and the content will be automatically entered into the input box. After turning off the display of the original text, only the translation can be entered. Identify third-party software audio and translate it. After opening the floating window, you can open third-party software and hold down the mobile assistant button to receive the sound emitted by the phone. After receiving the audio, release the button to translate and broadcast the video content. You can manually scroll through the translated content in the floating window for viewing. Fashion buyers and many of the world's top luxury brands are born here. Sending and receiving voice messages on social media platforms. Press and hold the mobile assistant button. Click on the other person's voice content to translate their voice content. Send voice. Press and hold the mobile assistant button to input voice. Release the button after recording is completed and then press and hold the press and speak button on WeChat. Receive the translated audio from the mobile phone, and once received, send the voice message. I'd like to know something about this watch. Okay, no problem. What's the size of this watch? The girl is very good looking. Wow, it's so cool. This looks delicious. How to use simultaneous interpretation? Click to enter the simultaneous interpretation interface. Select the original language and target language. And click to start simultaneous interpreting. Click on the icon in the upper right corner to turn on or off the broadcast. It is recommended to wear headphones to turn on the broadcast, otherwise the audio will be repeatedly recorded, causing translation confusion. How to use meeting artifacts? Click to enter the meeting. The first mode is real-time recording. Enter the corresponding conference topic content, personnel, location, etc. Select the audio language, whether translation is needed, and the translation language, Click on Start Recording to view real-time meeting records and translated content. After the meeting ends, click the recording to automatically generate an intelligent summary and view the original text and translation. Click the Download button on the right to export the original text, audio, or intelligent summary. The second mode is to click on the local file summary and enter the corresponding meeting theme, personnel, location, etc. 
Click to upload the recorded audio file. Wait for the translation to complete before viewing the conference intelligence summary. How to use photo recognition. Click to enter the photo page, briefly press the capture button to complete the photo capture, and the system will automatically recognize the text in the photo and translate it into the target language text. How to use face-to-face -face translation. Click to enter the face-to-face -face translation interface. Select the corresponding language, user a speaks. Long press the corresponding recording button, and after recording is completed, it will be automatically translated into B's target language. User B speaks. Long press the corresponding recording button, and after recording is completed, it will be automatically translated into A's target language. How to use real-time communication. Click to enter the real-time communication interface. Click on real-time call or voice call. Select the language of both parties. Click on invite call and you can choose to send a link to the other party's WeChat or other social media platforms. The other party clicks on the link to initiate a video or voice call. After the other party joins the call, both parties can speak their own language and have it translated into each you. other's voice in real time on the screen. Frequently Asked Questions how to solve the problem of not being able to call the keyboard in the input box. You can open the phone settings page. Find more settings. Click to enter the keyboard and input method. Click on the physical keyboard and enable the use of the on-screen keyboard.